welcome back to my little channel now there is this issue that we have in the world as we speak it seems that reality has to follow a certain narrative and if it doesn't follow that narrative well then it can't be reality what do i mean with that okay i'll give you an example when fans of sport club x lose or rather the sport club loses in the final and fans of sport club x go out onto the street and um, protest their dismay that their team has lost now it's a peaceful protest well it's mostly a peaceful protest i mean a few cars um, go up in flames but other than that, it's a peaceful protest. Uh, people shouting and, and swearing. But, um, yeah. We never hear of that. Doesn't that ever happen? No, no, it happens. But the first thing is, when a few cars go up in flames, we don't bother mention that most of the people are peaceful. We don't call it a protest. We call it a riot. Because, let's be honest, the media and uh, most people in the country or in the world don't care about the fans of Sport Club X. And what they are doing, burning vehicles, isn't considered peaceful by any standard. Well, that's not really true though. I mean, it's not that it's not considered peaceful by any standard. Because there is a standard where burning cars, or buildings, or looting, is considered peaceful. Because it's very possible that if we have a group of people, and, and this time they're not fans of Sport Club X, but we're talking about people who are fans of a certain political ideology, then all of a sudden, looting, burning cars and buildings can be peaceful protesting especially if those people chant certain words i mean one of the, the most common chants is black lies matter black lies matter black lies matter if you do that everything you do is peaceful you can peacefully remove statues throw them in the sink for all they care you can peacefully burn down Wendy's or peacefully attack people, even kill people. Because if you shout Black Lives Matter, you are automatically peaceful. Now, obviously, when some of those people shouting Black Lives Matter kill someone who, who says, no, all lives matter, then obviously it's because of the violence coming from all lives matter. Because a black lies matter. A black lies matter. And we buy it. We seem to think that this is normal. Why do we think that? Well, because the media keeps telling us this is normal. Burning down a Wendy's because someone got shot by a police officer is acceptable. Not a lot of projects are being burned, by the way, because of the massive killing of black people within those projects does it happen yes but that's not the narrative now for example if we would have a white supremacist talking about how he feels that they need to demonstrate and oh yeah no we need to stand up for free speech then the narrative becomes oh look at those harassers they're not peacefully protesting even if they don't use violence no no they're out there harassing people but if you have a group of people protesting for free speech and they're not breaking anything and they're not attacking anyone and then you have counter protesters who are attacking who are offensive to people physically offensive not just verbally offensive then the counter protesters were peaceful Wait a second. 
people throwing fireworks or uh, gas canisters from one group to the other, then the group throwing these things are the aggressors. But apparently they're not the aggressors when they chant, A Black Lies Matter! Or when they're Antifa, but the, the two seem to be coinciding pretty well. And the worst part is that there are plenty of black people who disagrees with Black Lives Matter. But obviously, they can't be real black people. They must be, what is it, uh, coons, or they are white supremacists. I mean, Candace Owen is a great example. I mean, I saw a video where Candace Owen, a black woman, I'm not a fan of Candace Owen, don't get me wrong, but a black woman being called a white supremacist by white women and they didn't give it as a compliment now i don't think any ethnical supremacy is a compliment don't get me wrong but apparently black supremacists well obviously they're right because black lies matter as long as we can't see eye to eye on this as long as we can't call a spade a spade and i know it's not always a nice way to say it like that but no offense is meant as long as we can't be honest about what's going on we cannot change our society you want to talk how discrimination and racism is bad yeah you know what i agree not a lot of people in the western worlds do not agree but if it's bad it's bad both ways so if group A feels that they are not allowed to be racist towards group B, then I can totally understand that. And I find, yeah, you know what? Being racist toward a group is a bad thing. Therefore, it's good that group A is not allowed to do this to group B. But if group B is then allowed to do the very same thing to group A with made up excuses, then basically what you're saying is, you're allowed to do this and the only reason group a isn't allowed to do this is because we feel that they do not have the same rights as group b which funny enough is the very definition of racism one group has more rights than the other i don't think we can continue with this very long this is a problem in America, obviously, and I really do think that America needs to clear up its streets, so to speak. But this is a problem happening in Europe now, too. This can end in a few ways, obviously. There are many possibilities. But unless this ends peacefully, so we recognize that we can't have a double standard, I fear this will end in bloodshed. I'm not looking forward to that. Anyway, I'm curious what you think. Uh, like, share and subscribe and all the, 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 the standard things. But I am curious what you think. What does it mean to a society when one group of people gets away with everything and the other group of people gets blamed for everything? Is that a society that has any chance of survival? It's almost as if we can't point to a country in the world where we have seen this happen already. Unfortunately, that country does exist. That country is called South Africa. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. Like, share and subscribe. And I hope to see you all next time.